I'm headed out for a short inspection. See what things look like. I gotta go get some cat food. Other kind of cat food. While I'm out, when I clean my truck out, I cleaned out all my fat. This, of course, all of this was in my truck, but some of it was. Stand by. I have this box. It's uh, approximately eight inches by six inches wide. It's cut in half. I don't know what size it was originally, but you can see it's uh, probably four or five inches of coins in this box. We might have a contest. See who can guess how many is in there. I'll let you know. I mean, I'll know before y'all will. Y'all just keep guessing for my 1,000 videos. We'll give some prize out. We can close to get closest to this box of coins. Pennies, quarters, dimes, you know, beach stuff. I cleaned it all up, so I don't know how it's going to go through. But you can see some of it's better than others. See that nickel? It's rough on one side and clean on the other. But I think they go to the coin store all right quarter green on one side had the guru's help he put some acid on them. brick acid marac acid whatever you call it I, I doubt that'll go through i sure didn't put that in there okay stand by well there's all the rejected ones I'm going to tell you this, it was over 140, but less than 180. And the last three digits were, the last three digits were $1.66. All you got to guess is the first two digits. Over 140, less than 180. $1.66, last three digits. We can't count this, of course, but we didn't get no money for it. Question is, what the hell do you do with this crap? Might try it here and there, I guess. I run it through three times. I got about 40, I got less than a dollar after running it through three times. I got rid of leave it in a little bucket. I said, nah, hell with it. I don't think I'm going to hunt here. I'm just going up the beach to take a look at it with Nautilus Beach first. See what it looks like before I go in. See how it looks. It's supposed to be low in about an hour. Big container ship bound in. It looks pretty good. There's a nice little slough right there. Built for comfort, not speed. Oh, there's a nice one down there, too. Very interesting. It's a lot rougher than I wanted it to be. But I knew it would be with the forecast, like it was yesterday. I think I'm going to stop right here. I see some rocks right now. I don't know that you'd be able to see them, but they're right there. We'll see how it goes. This is what it looks like right here. You can see there's some nice rocks. Some big rocks. And it makes a turn and goes out in the bay. <laughs> there's another nice spot down there. And it appears to be a really nice spot down there. I'm going to put in here first. Work this slough all the way down to that next one. The next one by that set of steps is where the old big rocks used to be. But these moved down here. I shouldn't say they moved, they got uncovered. They've always been here. Stand by. Well, here's the first low, here's the first sound and a low sound. The first one and it's a low one. Let's see what it is. And you got it, whatever it was. I don't see anything initially. The rocks. Stand by. The little thing fell out right there. I ain't going to worry with it. I got the SE Pro today. I 
we got target number two. It sounds really good. Nice and low and steady. It's still in the hole. Come out of there, Chiquito. You got it that time. It's a what's it of some sort. Just to show you how much sand has moved in here. You know that big barge looking piece of wood has been here for months and months and months. It's almost covered up on the lower end. Some of it is covered up. That's a lot of sand. I'm headed down to the old rocks now. Yeah, look at that. Well, she's going the wrong way for me. I need to go the other way. Out, seabound. That baby's headed to the harbor, probably to pick up some paying customers. Well, I'm here, but I think it's too damn rough to get in there. You see, it drops off pretty good in there. That's right where I want to be. What it looks like. I see some rocks. Stand by. It's just too deep, too rough. That's the only spot there is too like that. It's not far from where I parked. That's where I parked at the steps right there. So I'm gonna go down here by the cave, I mean by the uh, what do you call that thing, the crane. And come back by him with the tide drops off a little bit, I hope. Stand by. Oh. Damn. Yes, he froze his stop right here. Chiquito or some sort. That's pretty good. Got it out, whatever it is. Piece of damn wire. Ah. Look at that. Taquito. Piece of wire, another piece of wire there. Right there I dug this bling. Bling earring with lots of ice. <laughs> Look at that piece of crap, will you? Ah. But it looks like there's a few targets. On the upper, upper, you know, damp side of this hole. I'm gonna stick around for a few minutes, see what I can find up here. Here we got a nice low sound. Ain't getting many targets since we got that earring. I don't see much standing out. Oh, I see it's a piece of a key. Hold on a minute. I got a really loud sound here. What kind of big brass looking thing is it? So much for this hot goose. I'm going to the cave. Well, I'm at the cave. Some depositors. Tide's a little higher than I wanted it to be. It's uh, after two, so that means the tide's coming in now. I don't know how we're gonna make out here. We'll try it for a few minutes anyway. side of the cave is not quite so waves are quite so bad but the ties up you can see the ties way up way up more than I want compared to what it was the other day let's spin around in this little shot little spot right here for a few minutes see what we can find 
Y'all don't know this, but we've had a uh, the club the club here, the local club, the Tide Water Coin and Relic Club, sponsors a hunt I think twice or three times a year. And some people come, you know, some people come from all over. They had to hunt two. I think they had two or three hunts this morning. And of course, I don't know the outcome to all of them, or hardly any of them actually. But if you go back maybe a year, or maybe a little longer, I don't remember when we first got those two new T-Rex scoops, the eight-inch models that Ron sent us to test. You know, the one with the five-inch top and the one with the three and a half-inch top. One he calls a dry sand scoop. One he calls a wet sand scoop. Well, Kenny got the five and a half to five inch one, the wet sand scoop, and I kept the three three and a half inch scoop for me. But uh, me uh, I sent it to a lady in New Jersey, if you remember that. Her scoop broke, so I sent it to her. Let her test it. Her name's Donna. Martona, I think is her real name. Donna Martona. And she's above Atlantic City somewhere, and I do know, but I can't remember where it is. Anyway, her and three of her buddies came down to hunting in this club hunt. And they want to go eat some seafood at night, some crab cakes. So me and Low Tide Tim, we say we take them to the uh, surf rider, give them some crab cakes. So we're going to try to get there about 5.30 tonight. Uh, she said her group from New Jersey did pretty good in the club hunt. One on one, a uh, XP, what do you call that thing? XP Deuce, a Deus, that, that fancy machine, you know, with the with the with wireless headphones and all that. One of those, one of the guys won one of those, and one of them won something else, and they did pretty good. It sounds like they're the only people I heard from, of course. And I know maybe I'll know more tonight when I hear from when she gets there, but. I'll, uh, I won't do this the video until we get through with dinner so you can meet Donna and her friends from the New Jersey. Been down there plundering the party, the uh, club hunt. Okay, stand by. I'm uh, on my way home with my load of treasure today. I should have reclined today. I got a knife gig tomorrow on Sunday. I'm going to try a Sunday knife gig at the farmer's market and see how it does. Can't be no worse than Fridays. See you later. Now that's meager. Two tabs, one key, one doodad looking thing. A piece of wire, a piece of wire, a piece of aluminum wire, a nickel, some bling, and a what's it? Three hours. <laughs> I don't like it. The nut for the day, the roundup. The living end until the crab cakes arrive. Oh no! Because so my buddy lives across the street. I'm not. I'm not. Don't post me online. Uh, I want to remain anonymous. Everybody paid you. I, I don't know. Paid. Yeah. I. I. Yeah. Okay. Well, let me. <laughs> let me they want a drink. <laughs> Wait a minute. Maybe I. I said anybody. I'm looking for one. And uh, so a guy says, yeah, I got one, brand new. That's sort of similar to the uh, SEF a little bit. Yeah, a little, a little more rounder. not quite. So, it's light, that's what I yeah, like about it. Yeah, it is very light, very yeah. light. Okay. Actually, the pole that is... That nail light. I got, like I said, the nail is really heavy. Heavy? Well, I got that coal cover on it, too, so that makes sand oh, gets inside oh, okay. of you. Know. This has got, this has got a, a really very tight one, yeah. This, it's not only tight, but it's very... Thin. Well, it's not that. I don't want to...